Ah, oh, I know, the dreaded newsletters. Oh, what do you say? What do you write? Who do they go to? Is anybody listening? Does anybody care? That's what we're talking about today, episode number five in marketing tips for your interior design business. My goal is for you to have clarity. Do you like that? Claire, clarity. <laughs> in your interior design business, make sure you check out my website, www.clairejefford.com. I've got some great packages there for you if you're looking to organize all of your processes. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell. Do you see the bell? Hit the bell. It's the red bell. Just hit it. Hit it. You get notifications. So one of the things I know that gets really frustrating is newsletters. What are you going to say in your newsletters? How often are you sending out newsletters? What is a newsletter? Well, when I started at my business, uh, I was sending out newsletters to not just my email list, because again, it was early days. I was just starting to build the email list, but um, I would send out these letters to friends, neighbors, friends of friends, my family, uh, sometimes physically, like yes, in the mail. I would, sometimes I would walk around the neighborhood, put it in mailboxes, give me an opportunity to talk to my neighbors, tell them what I'm doing. I also took it to my doctor's office, my dentist's office, as well as to the teachers, you know, the mailboxes that the kids' teachers have at the school. I would say to the principal, is it okay if I just put my newsletter? Just put it, and he, I would do it every month, so he was like, yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. People get to know you and they get to know, you know, what it is that you're doing. Some of the things that you could do with a newsletter is this was what mine looked like at the time. Again, I'm gonna show you over here. Okay, so that was my branding. Um, I put down some of my, you know, um, awards that I had won where people could find me. My next video, you're gonna see the Facebook contest that I ran. I'm gonna talk about that. But, so I was letting people know about the contest that was coming up. Uh, I was also letting them know that, you know, it had been a busy year and this is what we had done. Uh, I advised that I had won the 2012 Reader's Choice Awards, which was that award there. That's a local award, so for me that's a, that's a big deal, especially since this is going out to people locally. Uh, I participated as an exhibitor in the Hamilton's Ultimate Women's Show in March, so I announced that I said that I'd done that. Go back and check episode number four and you'll see that marketing strategy and how that worked for me. Uh, in April, I said to them that I updated my website, okay, so I got more por por new portfolio photos, and in May, I became a true color expert. And then I just make a note and it says, I regularly attend events relating to interior design. I built up a team of trustworthy trades. Oh, and here's a few of my latest projects that you can find out on my blog. This was a spring update of 2013. Okay, so that was a client's home that I'd done. That was my own living room. That was a tip on lighting. And then on the back, ooh, this is giving away a little bit of a tip coming up later on. But on the back, uh, I talked about decorating inside and out. Uh, I'm not sure oh, why because it was spring so in the spring I wanted to talk about you know now we're going outdoors so if you need help decorating outdoors then by all means you know let me know I had a fall one for 2013 that was when I did so again these are now these would now really be blog posts right these would be blog posts now um, and then I gave five tips for bathroom renovating So then I did the dental office. So then you're wondering, well, what's the ROI on this, Claire? Are you actually getting clients? So yeah, because I talk a lot, even when I'm sitting in that dental chair. And um, the dental assistant said to me one day, hey, do you know that we're actually revamping the dental office? I'm wondering if you can maybe help out. And I was like, oh yes, absolutely, I can help you with that. <laughs> that led me to not only doing the dental office, then the dentist himself asked me to do his bathroom. So that was like the first time, look at that hardwood tile. Okay, hardwood tile, this was in 2013. People were hardly using it. I know, kind of like set in the path and the trends, you know. Uh, yeah, and then later on my doctor had hired me as well and I helped my doctor with her kitchen renovation, her living room, her bedroom, her guest room. Yes, so these actually absolutely do work. So keeping in touch, and if you're just not sure what to write about, just write about you know projects that you've been working on. Even if it's not a full finished project, even if it's not fully photographed, just share what it is that you've been working on, any awards that you've won, people love to hear that, and uh, you know offer some tips. You need to offer that value. So that's where blogging, now obviously now I would say video is, is 
the thing to do, really. I mean, you can definitely blog too, but all of these videos that you're watching are going to have a corresponding blog to them, but the video is my main thing and it's what I can tease out and what I can share with people. So that for me, uh, blogging newsletters has been very big for my business. So I'm Claire Jefford, comment below. Do you blog? Do you vlog? Let me know. And uh, I will be back next time, which I talk about in this letter here. I mentioned already about the Facebook contest. So I did a Facebook contest that was in the fall of 2012. How did that work for me? I'll let you know and I'll see you on the flip side. Bye. I would also take it to my doctor's office, my denter, my denters, my denter. <laughs> Yo, hit it. No, let's kick it. Okay, let's go.